Hello everybody and welcome back to another video by me, Muckflexing21, or well, rather, the Paradox. So today we are going to be talking about how to convert levels into a scoreboard. It took me hours, a lot of head scratching just to get this done, but it worked. Um, I have two scoreboards set up here, level and diff, just to demonstrate. The first thing I'm going to do um, to show you is, well, show you. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go into survival. And we are going to go right here. Or right here, it doesn't really matter. So well, first I'm going to press reset just in case if I have any previous level stats or anything. And then I'm going to show you one. What this is doing is it's summoning XP. It's not actually uh, doing the slash XP command. Level 1, level 1, as you can see on my HUD, which has the scoreboard connected to it. So if we do this, which also requires a different amount of XP. Level 2, level 2. See, obviously it's a little bit delayed, but it's the best I can do considering. So we're going to go back into creative, and just to make sure you all know, this is slash summon XP orb. You just can't see it. Um, this right here, basically, everything right here, except except whatever this is, uh, random rogue command block, um, <laughs> this long chain, this, and the well, this, and this, and that, are all necessary. I also have something right here that I'll talk about later, because th that's necessary. So... See, uh, so the first thing you're going to need to do to set this up is add three different scoreboards, or, f well, technically, uh, four, or five, but we're just going to add three for now. So, so do slash scoreboard objectives add check level dummy. Now, obviously, I already have it. Um... And then what you're going to do is you also want to add XP dummy. Then you're going to want to add level dummy. And then you are going to add diff dummy. So those are a lot of scoreboards already, but I assure you it'll really help you in whatever you're trying to do. So... Let me just reset all my XP right here. Um, so, to start this off, what you're going to need to do is make a command block that tags a random player in the server that is not that has the check level uh, of zero and add them check with the check level tag. Um, right? And then what you're going to do... Or, well, I should rather explain this first. So what this is going to do is it's basically just going to tag a random person with check levels and then they can be checked by all these commands. So the next command you're going to want to put chain always active. Um, make sure these unconditionals and conditionals are exact. So these are two different scoreboards we're going to add later um, because they're a little more complicated. So XP2 minus equals at a tag equals check level diff2. In fact here. Why don't we just add them now? Uh, diff2 and xp2. So what this is doing is it's subtracting xp2 from diff2, uh, which essentially if we go all the way down here at the end of this command list that you don't have to add right now, uh, what it does is it sets diff2 the same as diff and xp2 the same as or not that, uh, and XP to the same as XP. See, the reason you want to do this is because what we're doing is if we go shift ourselves over here, we're a different chain of command blocks. What we're doing is we're making it so then it's going to test for an XP orb, and it's going to add an XP of 1 to their XP scoreboard. 
and then what it's going to do is it's going to add one XP to their actual stat with the XP command, and then it's going to kill at E type equals XP or run a radius of four. Cool, right? Um, so all it's doing is when you summon this, it'll summon it, give you a scoreboard, give you the XP, and then kill the XP orb just in case. So, right, what we want to do is we want to set up two decoy scoreboards, XP2 and Diff2, um, because we want them to subtract to see if they're equal. And what I mean by that is this. So, minus equals Diff2, what happens is it'll usually be a negative number unless they're higher. So what this does is it tests their XP2 to be 0 or 10,000. So it's testing to see if that XP2 is um, in the range of 0 to 1,000, meaning that it's above the diff. And the reason we want it to be above the diff, because diff is basically how much XP you need to get. So let's say, for instance, my diff right now is 7. When we add, uh, when we get XP, it'll add 1 to our XP. And then when it goes to us and this, what it's going to do is it's going to do XP2 minus equals diff2. And because, X, because the XPs are always equal and the diffs are always equal, what's happening is XP2 and diff2 are counteracting to see if it's a positive number. And if it's a positive number, then that means you have enough XP to level up, even if there's more XP left over. So then what you're going to do is you're going to do XP minus equals diff. Remember, make sure to copy this whole thing. I'm just trying to get to the basics here. So XP minus equals diff. So what that's going to do is it's going to subtract your current XP scoreboard with the diff. So let's say um, you had, you got, all of a sudden you got 11 XP, but your diff is 7. Well, what it's going to do is it's going to subtract your XP from your diff. So we would do 11 minus 7, which would equal 4. So yeah, so it would have 4 leftover XP. And the next thing here, remember these, this is chain condition always active, because remember, we want to do an and or statement. Uh, chain condition always active. The next one is also chain conditional, always active. So what it's going to do is it's going to do scoreboard players at, at a tag equals check level, level one. So it's going to add my actual level up here, which I just have displayed, I don't usually actually have displayed, uh, to one. So it basically, it's, you know, it tests that you have that level, it's adding that level. Then what it's going to do is it's going to add two to your difference, your diff. Because remember, we want the XP's end goal to be the same as the diff or over the diff. So what's happening is for every level you get in game, in actual Minecraft, survival, no commands, it adds two XP you need to get. So when you get, for every level you get, it's going to add diff two to your scoreboard. The next thing it's going to do is it's going to do scoreboard players operation at a tag equals check level XP2 equals at a tag equals check level XP. So like I was talking about earlier, it'll always just set your XP to be equal to your uh, X, your basically your decoys want to always be the same as your actual. So then the next time that it gets to you, what it's going to do is it's going to set your it's going to see, like over here, if your XP2 is the, if your XP is the same as the difference or over. And if it is, it goes on to this, because remember, these are conditional. These, these three are only going to happen if this is correct, the zero to 10,000. So next commands here with the, because it's setting diff two and all that. The last two commands, all it's doing is it's adding the scoreboard of check level one um, uh, to you, your tag equals check level, and it's removing your tag check level. So, what? So if we look here, add add a add a tag equals check level check level one, 
It's, um, yeah, it adds check level. If we go to the start, we do not want your check level to be over one. Otherwise, it's not going to go to you. So, as you've seen, right, this comparator is constantly seeing if there's anybody to go to. And then, once you have this, where it's the comparator, the redstone torch, grass block, or whatever block you want, it wants to go up to here. Because it's going to set everybody to check level zero. Meaning that every single time there's nobody to go to, it's going to activate this torch, and it's going to make sure everybody is able to go to again, by setting the scoreboard to check level zero. So, there you go. That's the very basics of this system. Um, it may seem a little confusing at first, but if you just probably watch through this over and over again, it'll be more implanted in your brain. So, now that we have this out of the way and this out of the way, uh, I just I just have an optional thing because this is a server and we're setting it up. Um, for some reason, it's not working. I, I probably need to do something. But what it's doing is, these are optional, is it's going to set everybody that does not have a joined level scoreboard, um, if you want to add that, if you want to do this with me. Uh, join the level, right? It's at scores equals joined level, diff equals seven. So it's basically setting their starting diff up, and then it's setting their joined level to one, so then they can't do it anymore. Um, and yeah, so that's basically the basics of this whole system. I'm going to do, let me just reset. I'll do a, another demonstration. Rest. Huh. So, just in case, we're going to set up a command here that I have archived in my chat here somewhere that does this. It basically just tells us her XP in the top left corner. So, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven. Look, now we're level 1, and our XP is back to 0. But you see in the top right, or not the top right, the middle right, where it changes our diff to 2 up, now we have to press this 9 times because it summons 9 XP orbs, so then we can get the new level. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Look, it's exactly. Now I'm going to show you something. Um, the bottles of enchanting, you have to do them far away. I don't think they'll work if you do them right on. But, you will work here. You can, you can try to do it with this. See, the system's trying to keep up as fast as it can, but... Ooh, we need one more XP orb, it seems. Because I feel like my XP bar is glitched. Uh, sometimes, I guess it does that sometimes with the thing, but that's not the system's problem, it's the game's problem, so. Um, yeah, that's, that's the whole system right there, and, uh, if you, if this video helped you, and you liked it, um, well, please consider subscribing, and, uh, well, have a nice day, everybody.